that is for dhikr, remembering Allah, and rise for the month of Ramadan. <laughs> All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Him, we praise Him, we glorify Him, and we beseech Him to send His choicest salutations upon His most beloved alayhi salam and upon all those who choose to tread in His path until the last day. It is said on one occasion the Prophet sallallahu was sitting with a sahabi and he was giving him some advice of some adhkar to do after he had completed his farth prayer. That the Prophet Sallallahu was telling this man that after you have completed praying your fard prayer, you should make a certain tasbih, you should say SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, and Allahu Akbar ten times each. And he says that if you say these ten times each after each one of your daily prayers for a total of 150 times, it will be given to you for each one that you did it ten times a reward for a total of 1500 rewards. And this is in contrast to another hadith where many of us, after the, the prayers that we pray, we say what is required of the tasbih of Fatima, where we are saying it, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, 33 times each. Here in this hadith, the Prophet السلام, is saying, do it 10 times only. And the companions, when they take this from him, then the Prophet وسلم, he says to them that a time will come when people will not even do this. And they say, Ya Rasulullah, why would it be that it is something that is so simple, it is something that is so easy, how would it be that there is such a value and a worth to it, that the people, they will do it, they will go without doing it. And the Prophet Sallallahu he will say that these people, their minds will be elsewhere. There will be other things that will be more important to them. There will be things that they would rather be engaging in rather than sitting in those moments where they would reflect and contemplate and dedicate a little bit of time for them to be removed from the distractions of this world that are plaguing their mind in such a monotonous, routine way. They're going to be chasing after those things as opposed to this thing that was a little bit better for them. For many of us, we rattle off these words day in and day out, and they don't penetrate through the hardness of our hearts. We say them mechanically, we say them, regurgitate them, but we have to be able to begin to say them with a certain meaning attached to them so that we can actually benefit from them. When you praise Allah and you say Alhamdulillah, don't say it just because you are saying it for the purpose of fulfilling a certain quantified aspect to it, but attach a reason or purpose to it. That I am thankful to Allah Zawjal that on this day praise belongs only to Him because He has given me the opportunity to be with people like yourself. That I praise Him and I thank Him and I glorify Him and I proclaim His greatness for so many different reasons and this allows me to enable myself to be closer to Him and cultivate a deeper relationship to Him because I'm not just saying it for the sake of saying it, I'm saying it and there's a purpose attached to it. When you say SubhanAllah and you glorify and sanctify His name, why is the reason that you are doing so? When you are praising Him, when you are saying that He is a great being, a great entity, what is the purpose behind what you are saying? But use those moments to think a little bit more deeply about your deed. Attach yourself to it so that it resonates a little bit deeper within you and then it gives you reason to emanate into the society a better understanding and a better well-being so that the society on a whole can function a little bit better. Or you can just go through the motions and the mechanics and not let it penetrate within you and then you won't get anything out of it other than what you have put into it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and protect us. May He bless us with knowledge that benefits us. May He bless us with a tawfiq to understand and implement that knowledge into our daily lives. And may He guide and bless us all. Wallahu ta'ala alam wa billahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.